The earth being flat? Pff, that's just some crazy talk by crazy people, right? Wrong. Get ready to have your world turned upside down. Or at least elongated and smushed into a very thin flat plate. The government has been lying to you. NASA is in cahoots with them. Why else do you think NASA is part of the Department of Defense? Think the Earth is round? Think again. <coughs> yeah. Why is it that every Flat Earth video either have the sound quality of something from the 50s, or have some guy telling you in a menacing voice that you have been dumb enough to believe a lie your whole life? Wouldn't it be much better to have someone make a positive video explaining exactly why the Earth is flat? Hmm, I think it's time for Let's Ask the Weasel, the show that answers all your questions with the answers you won't be able to find anywhere else. Hello my weasels and welcome to this week's show. <laughs> I received this question from Nero. Yes, we have royalty watching this show now. Granted, uh, dead, psychopathic, incest-loving royalty, but royalty nevertheless. He asks, why is the Earth flat? And that, my dear Weasel, is a very good question. Why is it that the Earth is flat? What's that? Do my Weasel ears hear someone arguing that the Earth isn't flat? Pish posh, that is not true at all. It is, of course, common knowledge that the Earth is indeed flat. And if you don't believe my sophisticated attire and a ruggedly sexy old-time voice, then you could simply open up the internet and go to the Flat Earth Society's webpage. There you can find all... Well, both explanations to why the Earth is flat. All you have to do is to navigate their very up-to-date and stylish website. Yes. See, you can just go to the forums and then, uh, well, see the incredibly, well, convincing arguments. Yes. Look, I could get into a long scientific explanation covering everything from that if the Earth was really round, then the buildings in big cities like New York would tilt compared to the buildings around them, and that, uh, um... Well, I'm sure that there are more well-founded arguments like that one somewhere. Um, but I won't do that. I will simply tell you the reason behind the Earth being flat. See, it serves a very important purpose. The Earth is flat so it can hide itself from invading aliens. If it was really round, everyone would be able to see us just floating out there in outer space. What is this, hide and seek for toddlers? No. Because being flat and of course having the sun in orbit just above the Earth at all times, the side of the Earth is completely black. See? It blends perfectly in with the background. And that, my dear weasels, is why you have never been eaten by a facehugger or torn to shreds by a predator before. Because we all know that infrared vision can't see black. Looks like we have time for one more. Ruben Barkman asks, how did you get the name Weasel Bandit? Well, Ruben, I didn't choose the name, it was given to me. From the early days of civilization, the weasel has been a part of history's greatest moments. I have had many names, but it was not until 1908 that I finally received my true identity. I was traveling through Siberia, near the Tunguska River, in June 1908, when I saw a gigantic flash of light and an explosion that leveled the entire forest. Naturally, I investigated, and in the middle of the crater, I found a small box. Inside the box, I found a small mask and a note that said, He who wears the mask of destiny shall forever be known as Weasel Bandit. And that, my dear weasels, is the true origin of the legend of the Weasel Bandit. I certainly didn't come up with the name by going online and using the first random nickname generator I could find. Yes. Thank you for watching Let's Ask the Weasel. I hope you all learned something. If you did learn something, please share this video with all your friends so that they might learn something too. 
Or as an alternative, you can hit the like button under this video and don't forget to click subscribe so that you can be the first among your friends each week to impress all around you with your ever increasing knowledge. And of course, the comment section is open for all the questions that keep you up at night. Just put it in a comment and I will try to work it into next week's video. We will see each other again next Sunday. And in the meantime, remember, if you don't know the answer, ask the weasel.